For the third part of our Transit 2024 series, we're here at Humber College Station. This is the Western Terminal for the future Finch West LRT line. And in speaking with officials, it sounds like there's good news coming for commuters next year. It's been more than five years since the contract to build the 11-kilometer, 18-stop Finch West LRT was awarded. Total contract value is about $3.4 billion. That's construction as well as 30 years of maintenance once the line goes into service. TTC will be our, the operator of the line. But unlike other major transit projects, this one has moved a lot quicker since all but two stops are at street level. Andrew Hope heads up rapid transit capital projects at Metrolinx. During our interview, a promising sign for riders. I'd say we, we've made tremendous progress in the last six months. We're still working with TTC on what uh, a realistic schedule is to actually open the line. And so I would say mid next year looks good right now, but there's still a long way to go on testing commissioner. Commuters could be riding on Finch LRT by the end of the year. Very confident we'll have the line open uh, by the end of 2024 at this point. But this type of commitment might sound familiar. The line was supposed to be done in 2023. As we reported in July, road reconstruction was still going on. Near Weston, there wasn't even a track bed. That was a really tricky area for utilities, so there was a lot of really deep underground water, water and sewer mains and gas lines that had to be relocated. Fast forward to now, and nearly all road restrictions are gone. Many areas have been paved. As for other recent milestones... We got all of the rail finally installed in October. We got all of the uh, overhead power lines installed also towards the end of October. All the surface stop uh, shelters went in... Uh, late in November. Right now, uh, from a testing and commissioning point of view, we're running trains between the maintenance and storage facility, which is near Jane and Finch, over to Finch West Station. Toronto Hydro brought power to the whole line in mid-December. Early in 2024, all 18 trains will be able to go end-to-end. -end. After that, a months-long commissioning process will begin. Driver training continues too. At Humber College's North Campus, this station is nearly done. Fair gates need to go in, deficiencies need correcting, and final work on the platform is happening. It's very important to have um, Northwest Toronto connected by rapid transit. TDC Rider spokesperson Sheila Pizzi Allen reflects on the need for better transit like the Finch West LRT. She says area residents face long travel times and crowded buses. After the service launches, there's worry about whether there will be enough um, local bus service because although it's important to have um, rapid transit connections in that area of Toronto, many people use local buses to get their groceries and the Finch West LRT, the stops are going to be spaced out much further apart. Meanwhile, transportation planner David Cooper says there's a case for extending the LRT line beyond Humber College to Toronto Pearson. Have that connectivity in the future between Humber and the airport I think would be very transformative for those who work at the airport all day and all night. Coming up in our next story, we're off to Mississauga to see how construction on the Hazel McCallion LRT line is progressing. In Etobicoke, Nick Westall City News.